Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what happens if you don't kill Jean-Marc Mercier in one of the stranger missions in Red Dead Redemption 2. So Jean-Marc appears in only two mission strands in RDR2. The first is in a mission in Chapter 4 called the Gilded Cage, where you actually attend a party at Mayor Lemieux's house in Saint-Denis. And you actually need to attend that uh, mission and that party first before you can start this. Now, if you've completed the Gilded Cage, Arthur will eventually get a letter from the mayor in which he essentially asks Arthur to come to his mansion for a quest. And this is where we meet Jean-Marc for the first time. And Jean-Marc is basically a close ally of Mayor Lemieux and he essentially serves as his right-hand man. Now, there are three parts of this mission, and essentially the mayor has contacted Arthur to be sort of his henchman, to do his dirty deeds to get his political things done. So in the first part of the quest line, Arthur has to basically find some art professor and then threaten to beat him up so that he can say that the paintings that Mayor Lemieux is gonna be putting in a museum are real and are not phony or not fake or not copies or whatever the case is. And Jean-Marc throughout this entire time detests what is going on. He does not like the fact that Mayor Lemieux is doing these horrific acts to get his way. And by part two, you can sort of see this setting in because part two, he basically asks Arthur to find someone who's leaving Saint Denis in a red coach. Now this man leaving town was actually supposed to fund a library in Saint Denis, but apparently backed out at the last minute and it's Arthur's job to convince him that he should put up the money to pay for the library. And once those two missions are done, this is where things sort of take a twist. The third time you come to Mayor Lemieux's house, instead of him having a job for you, he reveals some disturbing information. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. Well, please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course, but... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. So in that cutscene, Mayor Lemieux reveals that Jean-Marc is going to spill the dirt on both him and Arthur. And that's obviously not good news for either of them because the mayor has done some pretty shady stuff. And obviously, Arthur is a wanted outlaw. So him having extra attention and extra law on him would not be good. So the mayor essentially confronts him to come to uh, Jean-Marc's house and he basically needs him to capture him. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is going to hurt, but it's for the best. So once you capture Jean-Marc, you're supposed to take him back to the mayor's house, which has you sort of navigating the dark San Denis streets at night, avoiding lawmen. And once you get to the front of the mayor's house, 
he will instruct you what to do. Quick, Mr. Rather, bring him around the back. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, I've missed you, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, oh, Jean... Here. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah, and I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Let me live, and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on! You wouldn't shoot a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute, but... I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. So the mayor basically gave us a choice, kill Jean-Marc or let him go. And in this instance, we're going to be figuring out what happens if you disobey the mayor and instead of killing Jean-Marc, you let him go. So in a video I did, I would say maybe a month or so ago, I revealed what happens if you do kill Jean-Marc. If you kill him, you have to then drop his body in the Saint Denis swamp and you'll actually get a 10% discount on all items that can be bought in stores in Saint Denis. So that includes horses, clothing, guns, haircuts, you know, anything you can buy, you get a 10% discount. But what happens if you choose to spare him? Well, as you guys saw, he ends up running away from us very quickly and I actually tried to catch up to him and he literally vanished like a ghost. So I don't know if Jean-Marc had some like secret trap door in the back of the uh, mayor's house or if he just vanished in the night like a ghost. But as you guys clearly saw there, he just completely disappeared. Now, the first thing you might notice from this is you get a huge honor bonus for doing this. Just like if you kill him, you get a huge negative honor bonus. Uh, for sparing him, you get a mega uh, honorable bonus. So if you are trying to be a good honorable outlaw, then you probably want to end up sparing him. Now, at first glance, it does sort of seem as if the option to kill him would have been better. I mean, you get a discount at all the stores in San Denis. However, a couple of days later in game, you'll actually receive a letter from Jean-Marc 
which is sort of interesting. Now, at first, I didn't know who this letter was from because it said letter from the mayor's office. And I at first thought this was going to be a letter from uh, Lemieux. But it says, uh, June 1899, from the office of Jean-Marc Mercier, mayor of Saint-Denis. Dear Mr. Kilgore, these are troubling times at City Hall with the resignation of Mayor Lemieux, but civic business continues. The new mayor has asked that you be formally commended for your recent services to the city of Saint-Denis. Please accept this token of gratitude of the citizenry along with a personal message from the mayor. This scandal will pass and we will be stronger than ever. Yours respectfully, the office of the mayor of Saint-Denis. Uh, okay, that's kind of strange. So it seems as if Jean-Marc has now become the mayor of Saint-Denis. We have literally changed the politics of the United States by choosing to spare this man's life. However, they mentioned like we're getting a token of gratitude. Is this letter the token of gratitude? That seems kind of odd. And then his personal message is this scandal will pass and we will be stronger than ever. Like, how does that benefit Arthur? And I wanted to see what would happen if you went back to the mayor's house after this is all said and done and you just get wanted for trespassing. So you can't even go back to his house to say hi to Jean-Marc Mercier. So I don't know what's up with that. All I know is this seemed like the worst outcome here uh, as far as what you should do, killing versus sparing, because honestly, I'd rather have the 10% discount in stores than just some random guy that I'm never going to see again be in the mayor's office. So I guess you could say this is the good ending that happens. I'm not sure if it's the right or the wrong one. What would you guys have done? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you have killed Jean-Marc or would you have spared him? And which do you think is the better ending for RDR2? If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.